Deontay, congratulations. Des Thank you so much. Describe your journey from suffering a season ending injury in a last year to becoming a Cincinnati Bengal today. Uh, you know, for me, man, first off, getting drafted alone is <laughs> just, it just feels crazy. It's just like, man, you know, you get nervous. It's just a nerve wracking process. And, you know, I'm just happy to be a Bengal, man. The Bengals will get the best of me. What do you like about uh, the opportunity to play for a team like the Cincinnati Bengals and, and how do you see that working well with your skill set? You know, this is a great up and coming team, a uh, great new quarterback, great young quarterback. We're getting, uh, I feel like now, you know, I mean, I can do what I can to help us improve. You know what I mean? Just play a part. You know what I mean? Anything I can do, I'm trying to get on the field, anything. But, you know, I just want to play my part and do what I can as a rookie, you know what I mean, to be better for the years coming. Deontay, you uh, you went down to the Senior Bowl and performed at a really high level. Do you think your Senior Bowl week was a big factor in you getting drafted? Most definitely. That's what I plan on showing during this 2020 uh, season. I, I, though I didn't get the chance to do that, I got to show a glimpse of it at the Senior Bowl. Deontay, what, what were you dealing with in 2020? I know you got injured in 2016 as well. Can you kind of t tell us a little bit about both of those injuries and kind of what the recovery process was like for each one of those? And what year also you said? I think 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 2016, I just had like a, you know, that's an undisclosed injury, really nothing really crazy. But, uh, you know, I mean, I just had to go through a recovery process. And uh, tw in 2020, uh, I had a concussion and I had uh, to get my knee scoped and everything. So that was why my season ended prematurely. How long did it take for you during the pre-draft process to start to kind of feel back to how you were before? Because I know you made a run of, run of consecutive starts for ECU before that. Uh, you know, I mean, I was I was good to go. You know, in the surgery, I just was having to get to the point you know, where I was recovered to where I could run and do my thing. You know, but that was that didn't take long at all. So mentally, I was ready to go. I had been preparing myself mentally. You know, that's another thing that really hurt me a lot. I had my streak of starts, and uh, you know, I I ended up ending that. You know, what I mean, but. You know, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> what was the level of communication like with the Bengals in the draft? Excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't uh, hear your question clearly. How much were you communicating with the Bengals before the draft? I talked to the Bengals a good bit in the draft. Uh, you know, uh, they they came out to uh, to my pro day also. You know, I'm just happy they gave me an opportunity and made the best of it. Deontay, do you consider yourself a left tackle? Can you play right tackle? What kind of position versatility are we talking about? As a line, I'm a lineman, you know what I mean? But uh, as a as a hope, I'm a lineman. I'm sorry, my phone, my phone had got a phone call in between. But so I feel like I can play any position, but I feel like I play tackle best. Sounds like you have quite the celebration going on. Can you can you talk about what's going on where you are? Yeah, some of like my family and everything. Uh, we out here. They just happy. We've been waiting. <laughs> so it's just happy to be here. Speaking of the waiting, how did you handle all of this time waiting to hear your name called? What, what did you do to stay busy? You know, I mean, for me, it's all about staying positive. You know, I knew, I knew my hard work was going to pay off, and I knew whoever got me was going to be a good player. I was going to be the best out of it. Thank you. Deontay, you, you work with Paul Alexander as well. Didn't you do uh, – didn't you get ready for, for this with uh, Paul Alexander? So, um, obviously, you, you know the uh, the second-round pick pretty well. You guys both worked out with Paul Alexander together? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't think I worked out with Paul Alexander. Uh, you didn't? You, you, no, out, you didn't work out with him? No, sir. I worked out at phase one. Uh, my trainer was Trip Hill. Okay. Yes, sir. The Bengals drafted uh, Cam Sample earlier today. How often did you guys match up in the Yeah, I, at Cam Sample, I matched up with him, uh, you know what I mean, a few times at the Senior Bowl. I like Cam Sample a lot. He has a high motor, somebody that's like me. I like to play with a high motor. So that's somebody that's going to help me push to keep getting better every day, you know. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great player at that, so.
Any more questions for Deontay? Deontay, I think you got the loudest uh, celebration we've heard so far through the, through the first four rounds. How many people you got out there? I mean, and, and you said you've been waiting a long time. I mean, is this what you thought it would feel like when you got the call? It is. You know, it's about, uh, I said about 50 people here, uh, friends and family. You know, this is the first time since I've been, like, out of high school since I graduated, really, where all these people have come together as one. And so it feels good. Are y'all having a cookout? What's on the menu? Fish fries, the cookout. It's crazy. In the middle of my, uh, when he called me, I was I had just sat down with some fish and chicken, some rice and everything. And I'm getting ready to eat. And I was like, y'all don't care about eating no more. It's time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I hope you got some hot sauce on that fish. Most definitely. And some bread to go with it. <laughs> Is your plate in good hands while you do this interview? It is, it is. My mama probably standing right over. 